welcome to the presidential debate of 2008. Rebecca and I are here in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., joined by Democratic candidates Barack Obama and Senator Hillary Clinton, a Republican candidate, former Governor Mike Huckabee and Senator John McCain. Thank you, Mary Kate, and thank you to all our candidates for being here and our audience for tuning in. Through tonight's debate, we will hear each candidate's thought on pressing issues such as war, immigration, taxes, and abortion rights. Opening the debate will be the issue of taxes. In order to fund the programs you support, will you choose to raise or lower taxes? Senator John McCain. I say tax cuts work in best conjunction with lower spending. I blame excessive spending for the Republicans lost in the election of 2006. I was one of the two Republican senators to oppose the 2001 tax cuts, arguing that too many of the benefits went to the most fortunate and the expense of the middle class. Also, I opposed 2003 tax cuts. I say I would not raise taxes, but I wouldn't go as far as to sign a pledge to that effect. I believe a repeal of the estate tax is not necessary. Thank you. Senator Barack Obama, your thoughts? I would expire tax cuts for households earning more than $250,000. I acknowledge that additional revenue might be needed to achieve my health care goals, but I think a large amount of money can be saved within the existing system. Thank you. Former Governor Mike Huckabee, your thoughts? Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I, I uh, supported pro-growth tax policies, perhaps even the idea of true fair tax. When uh, Bush cut taxes, I supported him, and um, I believe that Republicans have been known all too commonly to to be very partial to the higher class, and I want to change that. I want to, I want to, I want to cut tax for taxes for the lower class, make it easier on them, the people who are struggling. Um, March 2007, I signed a pledge to pass no new taxes and to vote me president. I'll stick to that. Thank you, Senator, former governor. My pleasure. Senator Hillary Clinton, your thoughts. I support some middle tax cuts, including a permanent repeal on the marriage penalty, property tax relief, and the alternative minimum tax. I also believe that the rich do not pay their fair share, with, and I would let cuts for households earning more than $200,000 expire. I also support a tax deduction for college, tuition, and refundable child and adoption tax. We will next talk about the pressing issue of the war. Candidates, what is your stance on the ongoing war in Iraq? Senator Barack Obama. Oh, thank you. I favor a timeline for withdrawal of troops from Iraq. I introduced a bill that would cap the number of troops at 130,000, the number on the ground before the recent surge. I was not in the Senate in 2002, but was opposed from the war from the start. And thank you. Former Governor Mike Huckabee, what is your stance on the war in Iraq? Thank you. The first problem made in the war in Iraq was the lack of troops. I supported Bush's plan to serve troops, and I am opposed to the Democratic efforts to set a timeline. If we set a timeline and withdraw troops early, we're just going to have to go back and fix the problem later, much like Vietnam. We can't withdraw now, and we can't appear weak in this time. So I'm for the war in Iraq, and I support the increase in troops. Senator John McCain, what is your stance on the ongoing war? I believe the president's strategy in Iraq can succeed. If the United States fails to stabilize Iraq now, the threat of terror against American interests will grow. I have strongly criticized Democrats who support a troop withdrawal timeline, but have also criticized the administration for mishandling the war. Senator Hillary Clinton? I oppose the Bush back troop surge. I voted for the October 2002 authorization of the troops into Iraq, but introduced a bill in May 2007 to rescind that all. Thank you for your responses. Our next issue will focus on abortion. Do you support or oppose the ongoing debate over Roe versus Wade? Senator John McCain. I am completely against Roe versus Wade. I think abortion should be left to individual state legislatures to decide. I call abortion a human tragedy and believe community action should go as far as to fight for life. Obama. Senator John McCain, thank you. Your thoughts, Senator Barack Obama? I support abortion rights. 
have imposed restrictions on public financing of abortions while serving in the Illinois, Illinois state legislature. I said partial birth abortion only focuses on 1% of all cases. I wouldn't trust a woman to make such a decision for herself. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Former Governor Mike Huckabee, your thoughts? Thank you. I support a constitutional amendment to protect life from the time of conception. I, I praise the Supreme Court ruling upholding a ban on partial birth abortion. As governor, I banned partial birth abortions and required parental notification. I required that a woman give informed consent before having an abortion and required that the woman be told that the baby would experience pain during the procedure. I made it available to give anesthesia for the baby, and I also allowed a woman to drop off newborns at a hospital. And I also made it a crime for unborn babies to be harmed. Thank you. Senator Clinton? I'm for abortion. As many of you know, I have spoken out against the Supreme Court decision to uphold a ban on partial birth abortion. I also voted in 2005 to give $100 million toward teen pregnancy prevention and emergency contraception education programs. Our final topic for this presidential debate of 2008 is immigration. How would you handle the current immigration debate in the United States? Senator Barack Obama. Thank you. I say it is vital to bring out of the shadows the 12 million illegal immigrants currently living in the U.S. by implementing a system through which illegals could earn citizenship by paying a fine, learning English, and waiting for their turn behind legal immigrants. I say the U.S. needs a better employment ver verification system and more serious employer sanctions for those who hire illegal immigrants. I also voted for the 2006 Kennedy-McCain Immigration Reform Bill, Bill, and I am in favor of a border fence. And to you, John King? I sponsored the 2006 Comprehensive Immigration Reform Bill. Had it passed, it would have allowed some illegal immigrants already in the United States to work and apply to become a legal resident of the United States. After they, of course, after they would learn English, pay fines and back taxes, and have a clear background check. I believe that securing the borders is one of the federal government's most important obligations. Thank you. And we now go to former Governor Mike Huckabee. I favor allowing e illegal immigrants to apply for legal status by registering with authorities, paying a fine, getting guest worker permits, and learning to speak English, and paying taxes, of course. Such applicants for legal status must not be allowed to jump ahead of already legitimate applicants. Earn legalization, legalization is not an amnesty, but the rounding up and deporting of 12 million illegal immigrants is just not feasible. It is not possible and we can't even try it. I want to secure the, the border with police and erect, erect physical barriers along the U.S.-Mexico border However, I do not want to militarize a peaceful border. Thank you. And now, finally, Senator Hillary Clinton. I believe in tighter border security, more sanctions on those who employ illegal immigrants, and more immigrant assistance for state and local governments. I also support allowing illegal immigrants to earn legal status by paying fines, and back taxes, and learning English. Um, and like, the rest of the candidates. I have also voted for the 2006 Kennedy and McCain Immigration Reform Bill for border fence legislation. Thank you. And that concludes our presidential debate for the election of 2008. Thank you to both our Republican and Democratic candidates. And to you, the viewing audience, good night and goodbye.